Welcome to another BioBreeze tutorial. This one we'll be covering some of the menu options of phonies and exotics. So we'll start off with left clicking to get the menu up and we're going to rename our newly birthed pony. So we're just going to select rename button from the menu and it'll tell you down in local chat here what would you like my name to be and you have a total of 16 characters that you can use. So this one here I'm going to have a look and I've called this one Pokey and so this little girl over here is going to be Hokey. So just type that in your local chat and hit enter. You'll get a confirmation drop down. Are you sure you want to call me Hokey? Sure yes or oops no. So if you've made a spelling mistake or you've changed your mind you can just say oops no. Well for this one we're going to say yes. And you'll see now that it's changed on the hover text to be Hokey. Now, in the menu, the buttons that you have available are Heaven, Wake Up, Stats, Update, Movement, Rename, Reset, Bond, and Breeding. Heaven is a reversible action, irreversible action, it cannot be undone. Um, once you send it to Heaven, it will poof, you'll be awarded with five biochips. Uh, biochips we covered it in the website tutorial so jump on over and have a look at that if you're not sure what they are. You use the biochips then to purchase items from the catalogue on the website. So let's just have a look. If I was to select heaven we've then put in an extra measure that is asking you are you sure you want to do this? It will be heaven forever. You won't get your animal back and it cannot be undone. So if you're absolutely sure you would select yes. If you've made a mistake or you've changed your mind, just select no and it'll take you back to the menu. The wake up button, if you have a pair that you're wanting to breed but their sleep schedule is in opposites or they're not awake for long enough together to be able to breed, you can force them to wake up if they have at least 25% energy. The stats button, we'll chat the stats to your local chat and also give you some other options here. But we'll cover stats first. Let's open up the local and it starts by telling you the name of the pony that you've selected. We'll then give you the version number, the sex and the age, the seed number, ponies both start male and female with 15 seeds. It will give you then the happiness, hunger, energy and fertility percentages. Now these are newly birthed so they're only age zero, their fertility is also zero. They've got food there to eat, so the hunger is also zero. While they're sleeping, they will uh, build hunger to around about the 11 or 12%. So don't worry if it gets to that point. Once they wake up, they'll start eating again as long as they have food nearby. These, because they're starters, simply state starter in the stats. If they were born from two that you already had, it would give the parent names for you, mother and father. Then we go into the different traits that that pony has. So for this one here, the breed is a pony. If it was an exotic, then, then it would have the exotic there. The coat style is Appaloosa, so that's the appearance of the coat here. You can see that the Appaloosa blanket is there. The coat type is Penny. Now the coat type is the color. So it could be you know, a variety of different types, but still have the Appaloosa appearance to it. The shade, is none it is a starter uh, all starters have shade none brand none marking none they also won't have any rare um, coat types or styles hair lengths etc will all be just a standard uh, the hair color is that of the forelock mane and tail and so for this one it's brown the main length is medium you can also get them in a short and a long the tail length is long, it's also available in a short, you have to breed for those. And then it tells you down the bottom that it's breeding with only my animals, which is the default. So back into the menu here, stats chats it to your local chat. Text off will turn off the hover text. Turn that back on. Pedigree will give you the link to go to the website of its pedigree. Cancel out of that and go back to the menu. And 
assets. The website will simply take you to the dashboard website, which we covered in another tutorial. And let's go back to the main menu. Update. If you have a current horse updater out and it is not, uh, your pony is not a version 1.1.0, you can select update and the updater will send a little blue bubble down in case your pony and it will update it then to the current version of 1.1.0 or any future update that we have. Be sure not to move the blue bubble, take it or take the pony while it is updating. It will disrupt the process and break them. Movement menu. We would select movement button. It then gives you a variety of options. So this one is default move off, the interactions are off, the sounds are on, and its range is 2 meters. So if I want to turn the movement on, just simply select move on, and then you can go in and select uh, what range you would like it to wander around in. The range is in meters, uh, 10 meters is the maximum, as 10 meters is as far as they can be from their food without going hungry. Just make sure that their home point is next to their food bucket. So for this we might change it to 3 meters. Let's go back to the menu. Interactions um, are default off. You can turn it on. If you have dogs nearby though, they do tend to run away from where the dogs are, kind of in a herding um, effect. You can turn the sound off, so the neighs that you're hearing from Pokey here, you would no longer hear if you turn the sound off on them. Ground button. If you have them near the ground, say raised on top of a prim, um, you might have them on a barn that's higher than the actual linden ground. If you were to select ground, it forces them to go down to the linden land, which is where these are now. Um, don't use the ground button if you're trying to keep them on top of the prim. If you've accidentally selected it and they've gone down to the ground, it's okay. You can just alt look into them or select them, take them back to inventory and raise them back onto the prim that you had them on. Set home is uh, where they are now. Say we move this food bucket away here. If I was to set the home, this becomes its home point. But I wouldn't want to do that because it could end up being too far away from the food. So you would need to drag it over next to the food and then select home. They will give you the confirmation. Are you sure you want to change the home position? You know that it's next to the food, so you can just say yes. And it will give that chat to your local saying that it's successfully changed and the location to which it was saved. Go back to the main menu. Reset, if you think that it's slightly stuck, you know, scripting issues can happen in Second Life quite a lot. You can just select reset and it's just going to reset the scripts for you. Bonding. Bonding is for the breeding. So in this we have Hokey and Pokey. I'm going to breed, uh, bond Hokey with Pokey so that they breed together. If I had other ponies around that would prevent Pokey from breeding with any of the others. So I'm just going to select Pokey from the available um, ponies in the area. And this becomes a one-way bond. The one-way bond means that only Hokey is bonded with Pokey. Pokey is still free to breed with any of the other animals that I have, ponies or exotics, but Hokey is limited to only Pokey. If we wanted to make that a hard bond, we would simply select Pokey, go into Bonding, and then select Pokey. And you'll see on the hover text now that they're both bonded with each other, which means Pokey can breed only with Hokey, and Hokey can breed only with Pokey. You can unbond them at any time, so if you've changed your mind and you'd like to bond them with a different animal, different pony or exotic that you have, then you can just unbond from the menu and then bond them with a new one. If you are wanting to uh, hold off on breeding, making sure that one doesn't breed with a, a certain animal until you're ready, 
you can have a mature animal say one of these was 20 and you didn't want it breeding just yet because of the age limit of breeding you can bond it then with uh, say a zero age zero one two three and they're not going to breed until the younger one is of age and has built enough fertility feel free to jump into the biobreeds group at any stage if you have any questions any issues with breeding um, there's a csr on almost all the time thank you